So here they are, here are the cherry blossoms, and they are out. Tokyo is officially in Hanami season, which means that of course we are having the YouTube Hanami next week, uh, April 4th, Saturday, in Yogi Park. Um, the measure of, uh, as I mentioned in the, the other video, the, the measure of Tokyo of when the Hanami season officially starts is uh, by this area here, this is by Yasukuni Shrine, which is probably the premier Hanami spot in Tokyo, even though uh, Yogi Park is much bigger and that's where a lot of people go for their Hanami parties as we will go to. Um, it's funny, there's an article, a blog, it comes up every year actually, the Kore Korean bloggers like to say, we invented cherry blossoms. <laughs> Who really cares, honestly? It is a very, very big part of Japanese culture and you know, if there's the two best times of year to come to Japan are during autumn because it's got the best climate. Uh, you know, it's got stable weather, it's really lovely, that's the best time to come. But if you can, and if you can deal with the crowds, uh, because there's definitely a lot of crowds during the Hanami season, I think for pictures anyway, this is definitely the best time of year. And as you can see, there's actually a real large number of Chinese tourists this year. Interference on that is in fact, you know what? If I try to cover that, I just realized it's going to really interfere with the sound. Yeah. At least here we have good light. <laughs> you can see they're starting to come out, so next week will be perfect. They will be in full bloom, which will make the Hanami awesome. And uh, indeed, uh, actually, we're just walking over towards where the museum is. It's a fantastic museum. My, my father was in the army. I've, my mum used to work in the New Zealand War Memorial Museum. Uh, and when we go on trips, we would visit the war museums in other countries. And I can tell you, uh, history and narratives and so on aside, if there's some controversy around that, as a war museum goes, it's an amazing museum. Uh, just for the pieces that they have. Um, it's very, very well looked after. Um, so you can see over here, it is absolutely worth a visit. I really, really recommend that you go. It is also interesting, it gives a narrative of the history based on how it was portrayed in the propaganda and the news of the time. That's what makes it controversial. I think if you look at it in that context, you know, this isn't trying to necessarily create a, a politically correct looking back version of this. It's trying instead to create, you know, a sense of how it was for the people at the time because it's to commemorate those people as they experienced it, which, you know, it was a very complex time, obviously. Uh, and this looks like Pal. This looks like the uh, the uh, Indian judge on the war crimes tribunal who actually gave a dissenting opinion in favour of the uh, indeed it is of the, uh, war, the the people convicted of war crimes uh, in their favour. Actually, the one dissenting voice.